Hi, and welcome to my video on games to enhance your course learning experience. In this video, I'm going to continue where I left off from the last video and show you another example of a game and types of games that you can include in your online learning experience to really enhance how your students learn, to really support them on their learning journey, and really make a difference in how they learn. So I talk a lot about games and how games are really part of an interactive learning experience. And the reason why I say this is because oftentimes as adults, we are so used to learning in such formal ways with PowerPoints and courses that are like long PowerPoints or PowerPoints and long audios and videos. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I think there is an important element to really delivering a better learning experience through games and lessons that really encourage you to participate rather than just sit back and multitask. Videos are great, but the tendency with videos and that is my experience. I, I totally own that I do this as well with videos is I'll put it on 2x speed and multitask because I tend to have a short attention span as well. And I like to be cleaning or dusting or just sitting instead of just sitting down i'm not good with sitting down for long periods of time and the courses i tend to buy the instructors seem to enjoy talking for an hour plus long on a google doc and so i have very little attention span for that and so i like to just put it on 2x speed and multitask and do other things and so i'm not really paying attention to the material and to the instructor as much as i would be if i was actively participating in the lesson and so that's why i think games are one way to really enhance how you deliver your learning experience the other thing that we're seeing nowadays with online courses is that everyone wants to sell an online course. Most people love online courses because it's easy to put together. A lot of people think it's just a video or PowerPoint and PDF and some quizzes. But really, if we're really thinking about the marketplace and how easy it is, it is also equally as competitive. And if you think about the market being so competitive and how your product will stand out, that's why I encourage and believe in this learning experience. If I can recall experiences that really resonate with me, like travel, food, they always end up being experiences that I return to. I haven't quite had an online learning experience that I really get some kind of result. I really enjoy and really love like movies, travel, music. For example, I like to go to the movies now that the movies theaters are back open. I like to go to concerts. I like to travel because I want to be able to connect with people. And I think that's what was really missing in this online learning experience is a way to not only engage and connect with others, but also participate. When I think about traveling, for example, places like Croatia, I get to really do things. And so if I'm just sitting there watching a video, I'm not really doing things as much as I'm sitting in my chair and passively listening. That is why I think that games can really make a powerful, games are one of the ways that you can make a powerful difference in the customer's online learning experience. The benefit of adding games to your online learning experience is not only do you really enhance and make it more interactive and engaging, but you also really make a difference in your students and customers is learning so that they'll come back more and more. The other side of this is that when you can sell more experiences to the same customer, it also makes it easier to retain them rather than always having to try and find new customers. So with that said, I'm going to go right in and show you this Jeopardy game and give you an overview of how it works, but also why we use Jeopardy, give you a bit of a case study as to who it's designed for and developed for and how you might develop something like this in a similar tool. We used Articulate Storyline, but you can use PowerPoint and or other ways. The main thing is not about the actual game, but it's talking about why this game works, why it can help your students and customers learn, and how it can be really, really fun. This Jeopardy game is designed for college students in a course about student leadership. The whole goal behind this quiz was just to not only test their knowledge and see how well they did in certain sections and certain modules, but the idea was also to make it fun. The course is very heavy. It's about eight hours long and there's a lot of material to cover for student leaders to prepare them for their role as student leaders. And so this game is really a good way to balance out and a good way to also check their knowledge and also for the instructors to see how the students are doing 
and later on see where that they need to focus and follow up with students in terms of where the missing gaps are. So I love because this game, uh, it's like just like the actual Jeopardy game show. Uh, there's music, which I've turned off so that you can actually hear me kind of give you an introduction. And then let's just kind of play the game to show you how it works. It is really just like what you see on TV, except I'm doing it here on the computer screen. And then there are instructions on how the game works so that people who are new to Jeopardy have a little bit of context for how the game is played. And then now we're ready to begin playing. The questions are based on each module. So there were eight modules in this course and we broke this up into four sections and four categories. And so you can see the questions all relate to each category and then whether I get it right or not, I can see then, okay, I didn't do well on this question, but let me go on and pick maybe a harder question to see how I did. Let's see. So student union must provide member a minimum of 30 days. So that's not the right answer. So I can see that so far two out of four, 50%, I've not done very well on this quiz. So maybe let me try something in a different category so I can look at modules three and four and see, okay, which one of these are not part of the budgeting process? Let's see, record creating records. And so like, okay, great. I've seen that I clearly am not doing well on this quiz and I need to refresh my memory and go back and review the material in modules one and two and three and four that covers these specific topics. So it works well as just a fun game and it also works well as just a simple knowledge check for students and for instructors. Now, I'm not gonna go to the rest of the game, but I just wanted to show you that the idea is still the same. Each section category has its own set of questions. And so what is a tip for effective meeting facilitation? Introducing yourself and your facilitation. So I can see that on module five and six, I got one question right so far. And then as I go through the rest of the game, it'll add up my score and tell me how I did. Now, so far, I can see that I'm not doing very well based on the number of available points. And so I have a lot of work to do to review and make sure I'm very familiar with the concepts in the earlier sections. This game is very like simple. The game is very straightforward and the main idea is really to enhance how our students are learning. It is fun. It's not just a multiple choice quiz where they can check off the buttons. This is very structured in a way by modules so that they can see how the game is played and which categories of the course that they are needing more review on. So lastly, you might want to say, okay, this is cool, but does this work for my audience? Well, Jeopardy is great because who doesn't love Jeopardy? It's a fun game. And how often do you see Jeopardy as a game in an online learning experience? I can definitely say for me, I have not. And so it hasn't, for me, in my experiences, it hasn't been oversaturated because a lot of people aren't doing it yet. And so this is a great opportunity to use Jeopardy. Other games, we also built another scenario game that I'll show you in another video. This was built in Articulate Storyline. We used colors based on the client's branding. But in the end, the most important thing to know is that you don't have to use Articulate Storyline. You have to think about, does this game really match what I'm doing in my... Does this game really match what we're teaching? Does this game really support the students' and customers' learning experience? And how does this game help students? How does this game help reinforce the learning? Because that's really important in an online learning experience, rather than we're just consuming material. And this is an opportunity to really pause, reflect, and see how we're doing and where we are missing gaps in. So it's a great mastery check as well as students are progressing through your online learning experience. So the last thing I want to say is that in addition to Storyline, you can build this in PowerPoint. You can make this, if you're teaching this as a self-paced course, so what we call asynchronous course, you can design this also in PowerPoint. There are lots of templates out there. The other option is you can build this. If you're teaching this live, you could also design it in PowerPoint and then have someone facilitate the game while you see and track how people are doing in this game. The other way you could do this is if you're teaching it live is just to make different kinds of game boards and just facilitate people through a treasure hunt. So you can take this same concept and really mold it into different ways to support your learners. So if you're teaching like a class on money mindset, this is a great topic. One of the games that I've seen done really well live is an abundance treasure hunt. And I really like that because instead of just listening to 
the person talk for an hour. They are talking and they're leading us through this treasure hunt, asking us to unlock clues through each egg that we uncover. And so that's really exciting and it's really fun. It's also really different. And that's what's really necessary in this kind of online marketplace is to really sell a differentiated product to show the value of how you deliver a better learning experience and how the learning experience keeps your customers coming back for more. I'd love to hear from you about what kind of games you're interested in learning more about. I'll also include a link up here to the video that I did last week to show you how other games such as how an escape room game can be really fun, not only for your students and customers, but also really engaging as a learning experience to continue to reinforce and check their knowledge in order to reach a higher level of mastery in their learning. I'd love to hear from you about your favorite games and also any games that you have played in an online learning experience. Leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks again and see you in my next video.